the surrounding areas get set for another scorcher. Temperatures set to soar into the 80s today and no let up as we head towards the weekend where there is a distinct likelihood of temperatures reaching 90, which London enjoyed yesterday. Shut up. Matter with you, you're walking as if you've shit yourself. Take your time, Jack. Pacing myself. No sudden movements. How's that? Well, according to this, we are in the midst of one of the most dangerous times for pensioners. This heat wave could claim more lives than the sub zero snap in January. That's a bastard, isn't it? What's that? Well, people always say that pensioners all the days complain about the weather. But the truth of the matter is, unless it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit on the button, chances are you'll freeze to death or fry to buggery. I will know me. It's lethal out there. Dropping like flies they are. Jesus, Jack. Steeping your feet in this weather. <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, it's no question of what we're doing. It's about what we're avoiding doing. Aye. Nay running about, nay hauling, no lifting, no cleaning, nay exertion. It's a normal day then. Aye, pretty much. <laughs> you hear about Andy Carslow? The bastard with the bastard Doug. Aye, the very same. The man that bit Winston, sure. Aye, what? Aye, well, Andy rolled up to the bookies yesterday in his car, left the Doug in there for two hours, never rolled the windy down. When he came back out, the Doug was cooked through. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Have I hated that bastard? Uh, you want a cold drink? Bring it on, Jack. <laughs> mm, tempting. I was thinking more along the lines of lager. Uh, good call. I hope I skip and I jump to the clansman. Sweet, sweet fan. Work your magic. Come on, Nivit. He's a shot. That's been a full five minutes. Has it, buggery? <laughs> Killed you. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you's no here today. Can I help? No pain for the many eggs. Selva's good? I bet they're hot. Oh, Jesus. Hot mini eggs. You were off your nut. It's a hot day. You don't come in in December complaining about your mini eggs being too cold. I will. I'm looking my wing. Hope many eggs. Oh, it's your lucky day. It's too warm to argue with you. There you go. Do you know what you should do? Tell me. Do what they do, do in coolies. Put all your chocolate in a cooler cabinet. That's a great idea. You could put your methadone in there as well, huh? <laughs> Keep it nice and chilled for the next time you're rattling. Get out, you junkie bastard. Ask me. Whatever. <laughs> The summer's finally here, Navid. Eh? You know when the polis are in their summer uniform. They look that smart and well turned out. No. Post. Oh, aye. The summer uniform with a posty. So smart and well turned out. Oh, why is it used to sign for us? Why? What's this? Bill, 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 Bill. Well, that's that then. What? Harry's dead. Put your back into it. I'm bloody melting. Hey. Alpha. Hey. Uh, that's Jack and Victor here, Bobby. Two lager. Hey! What are we doing out here? Can I sit in the clans with a flat and oven? Oh, what? We were hoping for a bit of rest, but it's bloody roasting out here. Hey, Jack and Victor. Here, I meant to tell you, <clears throat> I met eyes on Navid's. That's Harry Deed. Oh. How is she? She's not the slightest bit bothered. Ah, she's well rid. Yeah, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but he was a prick. That's <laughs> bloody terrible, that. He was a prick. He gave to the life of a bloody dug. Aye. Been away for ages. They were divorced for years anyhow. He'd only turn up and tap on money. Good luck to you. 
Two. Oh, I got. Jesus. <laughs> Shut half <off> now. <laughs> it's Tarzan. <laughs> Put it away, Bobby. I did, Bobby. Thanks, Winston. Anybody else? Uh, I'll have a pop. <clears throat> You're like an albino on hunger strike. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Michael Jackson's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Bobby. That's bloody roasting. Aye. The killer's no working. It's packed in. Oh, God almighty. That's bad, that. What? Them wains they're messing about with that hydrant. <laughs> I know what they're up to. They're trying to get the lid off of that. Shut up. They're just wains. They're just plain. They've got nowhere to go or nothing to do. It's dangerous, that. And it's not just that, I know. The fire brigade will be lying in five minutes. You can be charged with that misappropriating a public service. They're up here trying to turn that off while some hoose is burning another part of the city. For God's sake. I'm no putting up with that. I used to be in the fire brigade. I'm going to say something. Eric, sit down. This is murder. The city's no place to be in heat like this. You know what we should do tomorrow? Go to the park. Get a nice wee carry out. Uh, six ice cold tinnies in a poly bag. Uh, the park's ain't mobbed. No, 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 no. Not if you go down early enough, you know. Get a nice wee spot. Spend the day. Yeah. Yeah, look at Eric. <laughs> What is what? I can feel you watching me. That is it. I told you to go home when you're still here mopping. I don't need to go home. I'm fine. I used to have an uncle, a sheer. I loved him dearly. I used to spend summers at his house. His wife died in the flood of 62. And, you know, it didn't seem to affect him at all. He was still funny. Telling stories, crazy, just his usual self. Then one day, must have been six months later, I kicked a jug of water over at his house. He went apeshit with the grief, <laughs> wept for two solid days, inconsolable. Oh, what happened to him? Once he had let the grief out, he was much better. He released it. A couple of years after that, uh, he died. He was in the field and got bit by a snake. You have to let it out, Isa. Don't bottle it up. Come here. <laughs> let it go, Isa. The grief. Come on. Come on. I know you're trying to be brave, Isa, but the existence of a person is like a serpent. It has a head and a tail, just like the serpent that took my poor Uncle Ash away from me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I missed you so much, Ash! Why did you have to go? Bye! Bye! Watch your spot there, see? Nah, but it'll have to do. <laughs> oh. Location, location, location. What, is this the best spot you could find? Uh, have you found a better one? Nah. Been marching about for half an hour. There's a fat bastard out there with a whole bench to himself. <laughs> Winston went for a sympathy vote and flashed his dummy leg. Get hee haw. <laughs> We were doing here this morning at 10 o'clock. You couldn't see the grass for arses. Ten's too late. Uh, that's the prime spot up there, though. It's got the view, it's got shade. Right next to the snack bar and all. Uh, that's where you want to be. Well, come on, we'll go up there then. We'll just mill about until somebody leaves. <laughs> Do you not think we thought about that? Well, it makes a piss and garbage. Wish it's quiet. The strange thing is, that has been going a long time, do you know? 
even though we were never going to get back together, I, I, I still felt, uh, you know... Attached? Aye, but no new. I feel as if I'm, I don't know, free. It's actually a good feeling. I know what you mean. Like, that's you, completely single now. Aye, that's it, Sheila. Completely single. Oh, Christ, at my age, eh? This is a great age to be single. There's dances, outings. Yeah, but I do all that anyway. Aye, but you'll be doing it with a different frame of mind there. Oh, how are you? Oh, no. Well, I couldn't see myself. No. Betty Melville. What age is she? Oh, I don't know. Oh, she's 88. Aye. Where is she now, do you imagine? Oh, she's no deed, is she? Far from it. She's in Santa Ponsa, having a lovely time with a fella she met at the Park Mill swimming baths. Oh. Her man died when she was 50-odd. 30 years she spent saying, no for me, that's all past me. <laughs> Eighty bloody eight. Eighty? And is she still late? Uh, you know, says? No. Just... Companionship. That's nice, that, you know. Aye, aye, that would be nice. A lot to be said for having a man in your arm. Mm-hmm. Can happen to you at any age. You just need to uh, dust off your radar. <coughs> <laughs> what radar? <laughs> radar? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I've not had my breakfast. I can't operate without my breakfast. Makes me grouchy. What time is it? Five past eight. Time you call us, you asshole. You got us standing here like a couple of wankers. Jack, Jack. Excuse my friend. He's not had his rice krispies yet. Right, you go and get the bench. I'll go and try and organise us a couple of rolls and sausage. Oh, focus, Jack. Come here. We'll worry about food later. The zombies are gathering behind us, and they're not coming here to feed the ducks. They're in here for that bench, so come on, hurry up. Easy, man. Oh, oh, easy there, man. Oh, look at this in here. I think you've dropped your way. Well, look there, sir. <laughs> oh, bastards. Lousy <laughs> bastards. How have you done that? Eh, uh, well, we just went into the shop and gave the man two pounds and he gave us two rolls and sausage. No, oh, the rolls. The seat. Oh, the seat. Oh, just got here early, you see. Wait a minute. The parkie took the padlock over that gate when he let us in. That gate? Oh, eh. Uh, what is it we call that gate, Tam? Uh, loser's gate. Aye. <laughs> it's generally just for dafties, that gate. <laughs> Face it, boys. He's having really thought this through. Shut up. There's nothing to think through. He must have come in the Galloway Street gate. He must open that one first. Does he? Shut up. It's no rocket science. See the motor? We'll be sitting on that bench. He's a no be at any bench today if you don't stop standing there like a couple of whinging women bumping your gums. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Galloway Street, first thing tomorrow morning. Aye. First thing. I was thinking about what you see in the cafe the other day, Sheila. Right enough, I'm not that old that I wouldn't enjoy a bit of company, you know. That's what you miss, isn't it? A nice gab, somebody to talk to, somebody to have a laugh with, somebody that's on your own wavelength, do you know what I mean? Aye. A good listener, Sheila. Harry was never banned for listening. And I like to gab, you know I'm gabby. Aye, aye, sir. That's the thing. A lot of men at the beginning like to do the talking. It's no every fella that appreciates that gabbiness. <laughs> I'm no saying. No, 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 no. No, I hear what you're saying. Uh, that, that would maybe scare a fella off that, you know? Aye. And if you don't mind me saying, Hen, the cardigan, it's no really summery, is it? Aye, aye, right enough. Uh, uh, I never really eat it. I thought when I put it on this morning. Here comes Billy Young. He's nice. Come on, we'll talk to him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shh. Hello, Billy. Oh. Enjoying the weather? Oh, it's too hot.